Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to be taking out a little tiny um, polka dotted um, lawnmower, a little Mountfield 414. I don't know what someone's done to it, really I don't. It's all complete from what I can see, um, but it wants a bit of love and a bit of attention. Uh, you'll see what I mean when you see it. Uh, it doesn't definitely run, um, so I need to look into you know, why it's not running, try and, get it, try and get it up and running, but before I do anything to it, it needs a bit of a wipe down. Come and have a look. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. And let's try and get this Mantle 414 looking better and hopefully try and get it to run. Right, and as you can see, uh, it is a Mountfield 414, and someone's just sprayed it up with dots on it, paints on it, orange, white swirls, no spark plug in it. The wheels are all wobbly, hanging on for dear life. Not quite sure what's going on there. It's just, it, it's, it's just in a real, real, real bad way. Um, so before I do anything to it, I'm going to take a bit of time using a bit of petrol, white spirit, and just try and get it just to try and get some of this paint to lift off without damaging the deck and what have you. And I'll come back to you once I've done that before I move any further on with it. Because um, even if it doesn't run, I can use the engine for bits and, and use the deck for bits and pieces and we'll go from there. So give us sort of half an hour, two seconds in your, in your time. Try and make it a bit more, bit more presentable and I'll come back to you. Okay, and there you go. Uh, Mountfield 414 now looking just a little bit better than what it was beforehand. Um, it's not brilliant and it, it's going to win no prizes. <coughs> I've got to sort these front wheels out because they're a little bit floppy. Uh, might just want a bit of a bit of a, a backpack with a wash or something like that. I don't think it's actually the brackets too bad, but those I can sort out anyway. That, that's not an issue. But first of all, I don't need to see if this machine runs or does anything. So there's no fuel inside the system. I just went and got some some uh, brand new fuel. Might spill it because it's very very full. Let's put a bit in, just enough just to wet the old whistle, as they say. That should be enough for you. Um, just put the old cap on, just leech over and have a look for leaks. No, no leaks, governor all works, good. Right, let's give it some primes, let's see what we get. I'm not expecting it to start. HT leads on. All right, let's give it a pull, see what happens, people. If we get anything at all, any signs of life would be good. Oh, yeah, go on. So that fires straight up after a while. How lucky is that? It started straight up, it was a bit slow, um, and no hunt as well. And I know that some people have got these machines, uh, they hunt like absolute pigs. Um, but uh, there you go, so this, this one runs okay. I'm gonna have that spark plug out and have a look at that because, um, it didn't sound brilliant, I must admit. So yeah, very lucky boy to get a, uh, a 414 from a refuse site. But actually, I don't need to do anything to the carby. That's a, that's, that's a rarity with these little machines. As I say, I know that some people are working on these at the moment. I keep getting emails and what have you. And, People texting me and ringing me out, oh, mine hunts like an absolute pig and this, that and the other. Well, it's supposed to prove I'm quite lucky. So I've removed the um, pull cord assembly only because these are absolute pigs to get the HT lead off without doing so. So let's do that. Uh, what do I want? I want my uh, little tiny, tiny um, spark plug remover. And these are renowned for having my favourite style of plugs in. Let's have a little look ski. Come on. 
Out you come, pop it. That's it. Oh yeah, look at that. A GGP uh, K7RTC torch plug. Torch plug, torch plug. Only good for one thing, people. Smashing windows. So we'll take that out. And I have got here a brand spanking new Briggs and Stratton uh, long reach plug. I like these little plugs. These Briggs ones they tend to tend to do quite well. So I'm going to put the plug back in. I'm going to spray some um, some cleaner, some gunk off stuff around this machine around the engine bay head just to uh, get some of this dirt and grime off. And then uh, I'll come back to you once I've done that. And we'll go for another little fire up, shall we? Hopefully, quick little turnaround. So uh, back in two ticks. Okay, just quick little blow off on top of the carburetor, on top of the old uh, uh, housing and what have you, just to try and just to try and tidy it up. So I'm trying to do because I dare say it's not been off since it's been bought brand new. So uh, it always pays just to just to do that. I just want to check this pull cord, see what condition the pull cord's in, and it always pays to pull the pull cord all the way out, right away to the end. So you can check the condition, and condition is actually really, really good. So we're going to leave that alone. We're not going to touch that. That can all now go back onto there. So you're quite happy. I've got a 414 um, from the recycle centre, but wh why was it thrown? Was it because the front wheel's a bit wobbly? Maybe, could be. Um, it, may have failed to, it may have failed to start. I've got to spray these, um, these covers up yet, and HT up yet, because that's got a orange paint still on there and what I might do is I might give it a quick a quick little white spirit bath all over and then once it's dried off and clean I might then just hit it with some lacquer just to make it pop a little bit so do you know what I, I put that cover back on that put my HTL back on you watch me struggle now with this the absolute pigs whoever designed these oh, absolutely you can fight for hours with them Hours and hours. Do you know what? I'm not going to bother. It's just a metal boot. I didn't uh, put the plug back on. But for ease of access, literally just to pop that off without losing a nut, you can then just put it straight on. Because they are pickles to do otherwise. That's it. Right, so we're happy so far, people. I can't believe it even started up. I didn't think it wanted to at first. But uh, I know some people who watch the video are absolutely cursing me now that they've got a 414 in their workshop and it's absolutely hunting or mucking about. Some people, you know, they just have all the luck, I suppose. It's just my, it's just, it's just, it's just my turn. It's just my turn to have a bit of luck. I know that one of my, one of my subscribers on uh, Instagram, I think his name's Toby, he's got one. And he's always messaging me. He's got no end of grief of his. But these are actually one of my favourite lawnmowers to have. I like these a lot. These little mount fields. They're just a nice little machine. They're not commercial. They're no good. They're no good for for anything other than your home user. But uh, yeah, they're good for. Uh, for the old home use and just for small gardens you know and around my area people have got a lot of small gardens because of the influx of new builds in my area right let's fill a tank right up then it's got all in the machine that i do know it was very very low when i first got the machine so i just put a bit of oil in so now it's got a new plug uh let's have a quick little look i don't want to upset that carburetor too much because um because it's running There is a service tag on here that's been ripped off, so I'm not sure what's that, what that's all about.
it's not doing anything other than what it should do. And I, I like that. That's good. Right. Quick little inspection into these wheels, see what those wheels are doing. And I might spray out that little tiny guard as well whilst I'm here. Um, trying just to make it look a bit bit, bit more uh, better. Also going to remove the muffler guard now as well. Two bolts there. Spray that up with a bit of black to cover that orange as well. And uh, it look a bit more, bit more with it. Right, so I've given the old uh, valve cover one coat of silver. And the muffkin has now had a, a, a coat of black. So now most, most of the orange work is now gone. Um, as I say, it's never going to win no prizes. But... Um, in the oh, pardon me, in the right um, in the right light with a camera with a, with a photograph taken of it, it should be okay. Just drops a socket under my bench. I'm going to retrieve that later on. So now I'm going to remove this um, this wheel cover off of here because it's all a bit loose down, loosey goosey. I've got some wire holding stuff on. We're not quite sure what that's all about. So we get a little tiny socket onto that. Uh, probably about 12 mil, somewhere in there, I suppose. It should be about 12, 12 or 13. It's a 13. Let's put a 13 on them. Just want to see what's going on with, with these little wheels. I've got some spares of these. There's a little washer already on there. Just want to see if anything's collapsed in here or anything along that line. No, nothing's collapsed. We'll take this bit of wire off as well. Take a bit of wire off, snip that off with my old set of Nipex. Get rid of that. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's looking like. It's just suffering with a, a bit of a wear and tear. I'm gonna tighten this little tiny nut up first. Try and just get that to go down a bit more if I can. Let's just try and wind him in. Which it don't want. And what we could also do is just literally just take this off and then bend this arm up the other way. We could just try that. That's spinning, so there will be a nut on the inside. Let me grab me a spare fuel tank. Lift the old machine up onto its tummy. Somewhere there. Have a little feel inside there. Yeah, it'd be a little tiny, little tiny nut in there, probably about 13 mil. Let's grab a 13. Put that up on the inside. Gonna be about there. Where's my impact gone? It's the start of the rain. They did forecast rain today. Hmm. What is that up in there? Then? Not quite sure what that is in there. It feels like a stud. I don't think it is. Should be a 13 mil. Bear with. Here you go. Wasn't quite there. Oh my word. Look, people, Nana's just showed up. There's Nana. What have you got there, Nana? Hi. You got your jammies on? Yeah, no. Why have you got your jammies on? I haven't. Well, it looks like you've got your jammies on. What have we got then? It's a bit wet, now. You can come in, sweetheart. Uh, tiger rolls with ham and cucumber. Mayonnaise in there? I didn't know you liked me. That's right, no worries. And uh, a nice cup of coffee. Cheers, Nana. Where are you going now? Some, um, you are aware that uh, Mrs. P did buy some vanilla donuts in the kitchen, don't you? Yeah, I did see them. Have you had one yet? No. Are you going to have one later on? Yeah. Righto, okay. Cheers, Nana. So Nana's just brought me my lunch down. That's lovely. We'll have that in two ticks. Lovely tiger. I do like tiger rolls. Right, let's uh, bring you guys back into the old shots so we see what's going on. She's not doing very well now. She's not very well. She's, uh, she's got something going on. She keeps feeling cold. Although it is, it, is, it is warm, warm today, but she does keep feeling really, really cold. So she's going down the quacks. I think that's, um, when she's doing that? I think she's doing that Friday. You've got to go down and get looked at. Oh, 
oh, that's better. So let's run that out. Now all I'm going to do is, is not, not be too worried, but literally this little tiny chappy here, all I'm going to do is just put them in a vise, if I can't do it by hand, and just bend it back over. Just a smidge, not a lot, just a smidge. A smidge is just less than a tad, for those of you who don't know. And I'm going to put that back into there. Hopefully. It'll all go. And just by doing that, it might just tighten up that, uh, that space. That's the cause of I'm getting to go back in. Come on, that might me about. My nice, simple little bracket like you. Is that a captive nut in there, is it? Is that what it is? Is that why you give me give me grief? No, you're not captive. Not better. Right, get your bum in there like I asked you to. That's it, right, okay. So now it's all going in. Something like that. We can now try and wind that up, despite the fact I haven't got a nut on it yet. That's a bit better, right. Now let's put that nut on it. Up on here. Like so, we'll just wind that in slightly. And hold that with a spanner. Where is it? They're a bit fiddly. Bees is a term machine on, it, on its bum, but it's full of oil, so I don't really want to do that. This is what we've done to all four. Pretty much. All right, here we go. Beforehand, it was uh, sloppy, but just by bending it back, it's now secured that wheel. Yeah? All them years of, of having it bent the other way. So that's now sorted that out. So we're happy there. It goes on my third hole. And then this wheel. I'm going to put a little bit of lithium grease on there, a bit of white grease. We all like a bit of lube, don't we? Let's just see what's going on with that. Yeah, it's not brilliant. It's a bit of play in that wheel. But what I might actually, I might actually backpack that, um, that space there just so I can then bring that flush. Because I don't think there's quite enough enough space there. That will also come out to about there. So let me grab a washer for that. I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, so I've uh, I tried putting a big washer behind, uh, but the wheel stuck. Um, so all it actually is is the plastic is actually wearing on the on the shaft. So they are a bit wobbly, but these are these are cheaply made, right? You know. Now I think I have got somewhere in the, in the box of many things. Uh, some spare wheels. So let me try and find if I've got a couple of spare, at least I've got a spare front wheels, that'd be handy. Uh, who's handy? Um, if not, it'd be as is, but at least we've sorted the bracket out. The bracket was absolutely, absolutely hideous. So at least we've got a bracket sorted. Um, that's all now tightened up, but the, yeah, the wheels are just a bit sloppy. Now what I have done in, in the past is I have put a little tiny copper um, insert actually on the shaft itself, um, just to take up the slack. Um, of that of that itself, that shaft. Is this a bit too much play in there? But I don't know if I get a, a, a sleeve on that one. So let me try and find another wheel and see if that don't cure it. Right, I found some. I mean, this, has got, this, has got, this has got the entire bracket as well, but I only want the wheel. Um, because these are quite a common fault with these, I thought I'd keep hold of it. So let me just try and impact that off and see if this wheel is any better than the other wheel. Just goes to help when you go to sell it, and this, this wheel feels quite tight actually. Yeah, we like that. It ain't much better, people, but it but it but it is better. 
So I've got two, two of these, which is handy, because uh, the other wheel's exactly the same. Yeah, that's better. So they are, they are, they are a bit samey, samey. You know, they're, they're, they're mass produced and what have you. Uh, wheel trim. The old bling wheels on. They are mass produced and what have you, but that'll do. That'll be all right. It's not, it's not too shabby. They, they do bend a bit anyway. But uh, there you go. Let me just try this shaft on that wheel. Yeah, so we'll see the same amount of play in there as well. So it's what it is. So I'm going to do that to the other side as well. You ain't got to see me do that. Um, but I just want to get these bit, silly bits of metal off because you know, if someone turns up to, to buy a machine and it's been held on by a bit of wire, a bit of a bit of coat hanger, you know, it's, it's never going to do any good, is it? So um, let me spin the machine around and then I'll do the other side. I'll be back once I've done that. Right, so uh, both brackets now have been done on the front wheels. Also took the blade off, give the blade a good sharpen too. It was absolutely mutilated. So brand new edge got on there. And I mean, that was probably the worst blade I've seen this year so far. Bit of damage to the back of the deck there, but not overly concerned. It's gonna be a cheap little mower for somebody. Um, so okay with that. Let's put the blade on around the right way, people. Instead of make myself look silly. That's it, let's just nick that up very quickly. 14 on there, so there's plenty of oil in this machine. I did top it up when it first come in. Um, it's had a new plug. Um, done nothing to the carby, which I'm really shocked about. Really shocked about. So now, I want the machine just to sit up on its, on its wheels for a bit. Uh, number two, number two, yep, they're both down, are they? Yeah, free, free, yeah, no problem. So the wheels are not brilliant, people, right? But th these are very, very cheaply made anyway. It's just what they are. But I do like them because um, they're nice and light, really easy to start as well. Not a lot of compression there. So um, all in all, it's not a bad little machine. Let me now give it a quick little um, white spirit bath off and uh, what have you, and I'm gonna hit it with a bit of lacquer. I'll take it outside, try and fire it up. I like this to start within two to three pulls if I can, and um, we'll go from there. So yeah, at the moment, super happy. Okay, Mountfield 414, finished. Yeah, the wheels is a little bit wonky. You know, they all are on all of them, but I've always done. But uh, if you can tighten up a touch, just so the height adjustment works on, then, then you're good to go. I sprayed it with lacquer, just to make it pop a little bit more. So now let's give it uh, about five or six pumps. Something like that. And let's uh, pull it up, see if it runs, go from there. trying to get it to hunt. Just by pulling the dead man in, it flicks back. I'm trying to get it to hunt if I can. Yeah, nice little machine. Can't do someone. I'll give it its 15 minute test and we'll go from there. There you go, Mountfield 414 now all up and running as it should do. Um, and for what it is, it'll, it'll sell well. You know, it's just a little machine that'll do someone in, a, in like a brand new build or a very, very small garden. Uh, the elderly tend to like these machines because they're very, very light and easy to start. So all I've done was put a brand new plug in, only because it had a, one of those torch plugs in there. I sharpened the blade up, all that sort of good stuff, and just a general tidy up and a bit of a wheel balance where I could. Um, it's not perfect, but it, you know, it, it's safe and it's um, perfectly fine to use. So I'm super happy. And this is the advantage of buying machines as part of a job lot, because um, once you sell one machine or two, you've got your money made. And after that, you're, you're in, into profit to buy new machines for, for uh, going forward. So super, super happy. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mirrors, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one I've done a video or two more on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which is at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mirrors very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.